Once upon a time, in a kennel far, far away, there lived an aerobic, gram-negative cacobacilli named Bordetella bronchoseptica, who is oxidase and catalase positive. She is notorious for causing tracheobronchitis, known to common folk as kennel cough in dogs. She is not a part of normal flora and belongs to a family of sisters that wreak havoc on humans, cursing them with whooping cough. She has been blessed with virulence factors, such as her flagella for motility when environmentally stimulated, lipopolysaccharide O antigen to evade host cell mediated immunity, her polysaccharide capsule to persist in the environment, and the use of a type 3 secretion system to allow her to escape immune responses. Bordetella is seen in any areas of the high density of potential victims, such as kennels, vet hospitals, dog shows, and the like. She travels by the aerosol droplets from respiratory secretions to new hosts through direct contact or fomites. Once inhaled, she adheres to the cilia of the respiratory epithelium using her special adhesions like her filamentous hemagglutinin, fimbrae, and protactin, allowing colonization of the respiratory tract. She has an arsenal of exotoxins, from tracheocytotoxin to cause direct epithelial killing and ciliostasis, to adenylate cyclase toxin to inhibit phagocytic function, and demonecrotic toxin to damage tissues and suppress humoral immune response. She is agile, evading the immune system while also inviting opportunistic pathogens to her colonization party. She will infect all ages if possible, however the young, older, and the immunosuppressed are her more likely targets. Once she has infected her host, she causes harsh, dry coughing followed by retching or gagging. She has the power to cause loss of appetite, pyrexia, nasal discharge, and sneezing. She can even cause bronchopneumonia and death in her weakest victims. The symptoms caused are strikingly similar to canine adenovirus and parainfluenza, but heroes may find her through respiratory tract swabs to conduct cultures, smears, and PCRs. Although these infections may be self-limiting, victims can be remedied by using cough suppressants. For chronic, complicated cases, antimicrobials can be used, but antimicrobial sensitivity testing must be conducted first due to potential drug resistance. Once recovered, persistence of the bacteria can last for up to three months before the animal is no longer a source of infection. The best way to avoid the wrath of Bordetella bronchoseptica is to vaccinate. Subcutaneous, intranasal, and recently oral vaccinations are available and offer good protection. For dogs in high densities, isolation and additional ventilation is required so all can live happily ever after.